Hello friends, I welcome you on this tutorial video. In this video, we are going to prove the Brett Schneider theorem. Brett Schneider theorem is used for calculating area of any quadrilator. If we have a quadrilator like this, I have taken this as a quadrilator A, B, C, D, where A, B, C, D are the respective sides of this quadrilator and the angle at vertex A is A and the angle at vertex C is C. So according to the Brett Schneider theorem, the result that we get from the Brett Schneider theorem is this. This is the formula that is obtained by the Brett Schneider theorem for calculation of area of any quadrilator, where in this particular formula, S is the semi perimeter of quadrilater A, B, C, D, and A, B, C, D are the respective sides of that quadrilater. For proving this theorem, we are we using here the cosine law and some algebraic identities. So let's start the process. Now for proving this theorem, I have made two construction in this quadrilateral A, B, C, D. I have extended this A, B till E such that I can drop a perpendicular from the vertex D to the line A, B from which we can able to calculate the height of this triangle A, B, D. And I have also dropped a perpendicular from vertex D to the line BC by which we can calculate the height of the triangle BDC. Okay, now area of quadrilateral ABC we are representing this by K. If you see this quadrilateral ABCD, the area of this quadrilateral will be equals to the area of this triangle ABD and the area of this triangle. B, D, C. So I have written them. And the area of triangle A, B, D would be equals to half into base into height. That was the formula of for, for, for calculating the area of triangle. In triangle A, B, D, A, B is the base and E, D is the height of the triangle A, B, D. And for triangle B, D, C, the base of the B, D, C is B, C and its height is equal to df okay now in triangle a d e this triangle a d e for calculating this height okay i am using the relation of sin theta sin theta is equals to perpendicular upon hypotenuse okay so in triangle a e d this a b is hypotenuse for this triangle and this e d is height of this triangle which is same as height for this triangle a b d Okay, so I can very very easily can able to calculate this height. This height is equals to ED and that will be equal to C sin A. And also in triangles D, F, C similarly D, F, C sin C would be equals to DF by C, D. And by that we can calculate this DF and it will be equals to B sin C. So after putting the value of A, B, E, D, B, C and DF we get this result okay k is equals to 1 by 2 into d into c sine of a plus 1 by 2 a into b sine c now we can send this 2 to this side so this will become 2k and 2k is equal to d into c into sine a plus a into b sine c okay now if we square both side if we square both side we will get here squaring both side we will get here 4k square equals to d square c square sin square a plus a square b square sin square c plus a b c d twice of a b c d sine of a into sine of c. Now if we apply the cosine law in triangle a b d we will get here cos of a equals to c square plus d square minus b d square upon twice of c d. Okay from here we can calculate the value of b d square and b d square will be equals to 
c square plus d square minus twice c d cos of a and also in triangle b d b d c again applying cosine law in triangle b d c we will get here cos of c equals to a square plus b square minus b d square upon twice of a b okay from here in triangle a b c we can also calculate the value of b d square and that will be equals to a square plus b square minus twice a b cos of c now the left hand side of the equation 2 and the equation 3 are same so we can equate equation 2 and equation 3 by equating the equation 2 and equation 3 we will get here this relation c square plus d square minus twice c d cos of a is equals to a square plus b square minus twice a b cos of c okay if we arrange this equation slightly we will get this equation c square plus d square minus a square minus b square equals to twice of c d cos of a minus twice a b cos of c now by squaring both the sides we will get here c square plus d square minus a square minus b square ka whole square equals to four times c d cos a minus a b cos c whole square this phone four can be written down here like this okay and uh, if we expand this right hand side of this equation we will get here 1 by 4 c square plus d square minus a square minus b square that will be equals to c square d square cos square a plus c square sorry a square b square cos square c minus of twice a b c d cos of a into cos of c we are naming this as equation number four now we are going to add the equation four and this equation 1 now if we add both this equation equation 1 and equation 4 we will get here 4k plus 1 by 2 into c square plus d square minus a square minus b square that will be equal to c square d square and in bracket sin square a plus cos square a, that will be common after adding uh, this two equation okay and a square plus b square into sin square c plus sin square c plus twice of a b c d into bracket sine of a into sine of c minus cos of a into cos of c okay now th that will be equals to 1 sine square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 and this is also going to equals to 1 so i am rubbing them and if we take minus sign here common this will become minus of a b c d into cos a cos a cos c minus sin of a into sin of c and that will be equals to cos of a plus c so in place of this i am writing cos of a plus c and this whole uh, things in the right hand side can be shortly written as c square plus d square plus a square plus b square minus twice a b c d cos of a plus c now if we multiply the whole equation by 4 we will get here multiplying by 4 we will get here 16k square plus c square plus sorry c square plus d square minus a square minus b square ka whole square that will be equals to 4 times c square d square plus 4 times a square b square minus 8 a b c d into cos of 
ए प्लस सी नो बाय डबल एंगल आइडेंटिटी ऑफ कॉस कॉस ऑफ टू टीटा कैन बी रिटर्न एस टू कॉस स्क्वायर टीटा माइनस वन सो सिमिलरली कॉस इन प्लेस ऑफ कॉस ऑफ ए प्लस सी वी कैन राइट दैट विल बी इक्वल्स टू टू कॉस स्क्वायर ए प्लस सी बाय टू माइनस वन सो इन प्लेस ऑफ कॉस ऑफ ए प्लस सी आई एम राइटिंग दिस रिलेशन सो दैट विल बी इक्वल्स टू टू इंटू कॉस स्क्वायर ए प्लस सी बाय टू माइनस वन एंड इफ वी ओपन दिस ब्रैकेट वी विल गेट हियर वी विल गेट हियर सिक्सटीन ए बी सी डी इंटू कॉस स्क्वायर ए प्लस सी बाय टू प्लस एट टाइम्स ए बी सी डी now if we swap both this term that means i am taking this term here and this term here we will get here plus 8 a b c d minus 16 a b c d cos square a plus c by 2 and now can we can very well write this as a b plus twice of a b plus Twice C D whole square. Okay, we can in place of this, I am writing twice of A B plus twice of C D whole square minus sixteen A B C D cos square A plus C by two. Okay, now I am shifting this term to this side so we will get here 16k square that will be equals to twice ab plus twice cd whole square minus c square plus d square minus a square minus b square minus 16 ab cd into cos square a plus c by 2 Now here I am using the identities x square minus y square equals to x plus y into x minus y. X square minus y square equals to x plus y into x minus y. So this this can be modified to twice a b plus twice c d plus c square plus d square minus A square minus B square into twice A B plus twice C D minus C square minus D square and uh, this negative will change to positive A square plus B square minus sixteen A B C D. cos square a plus c by 2 okay now if i make the group of this and this i can write in place of uh, this c plus d whole square so i am rubbing this and in place of it i am writing c plus d ka whole square and i am shifting this term to here Plus twice a b. If we take minus sign here common, I will get here. If I take minus sign common, I will get here minus of. This will get minus and this will get plus. Okay. Or in place of this, I I can write a minus b whole square. So in place of this, I am writing. A minus B whole square. Similarly, the procedure that I have done here, I am doing the same procedure here. So, I can write here as <coughs> in place of A square plus B square plus twice A B, I am writing A plus B whole square, and uh, in place of C minus C square minus D square plus twice 
cd i am writing minus of a c plus d whole square okay so this will reduce to a plus b whole square minus of c minus d whole square and i am shifting this term here 16 a b c d into cos square a plus c by 2. Now if you again apply this identity we can get from this equation to this equation. Okay. So, so in this bracket now I'm, I am adding a and subtracting a. Okay. Here I am in this bracket. And in this bracket, I am adding B and subtracting B. And in this bracket, I am adding C and subtracting C. And in this bracket, I am adding D and subtracting D. Okay, so in place of this, I, I am writing here A plus B plus C plus D minus twice a and here a plus b plus c plus d minus twice b here a plus b plus c plus d minus twice c and here a plus b plus c plus d minus twice of d now dividing the whole equation by 16 so i am getting here i am dividing the right hand side and left hand side by 16 okay so if i distribute 16 in the here like this then this 16 and this 16 would get cancelled and we have simply here have abcd into cos square a plus c by t and this section I am writing here as I am distributing two in the denominator of the terms in multiplication. There are four terms in multiplication. We will get two into two, four, four into two, eight, eight into two, sixteen. And here we will get here k square. Okay. Now again, if I distribute the two, we will get here. Okay, this 2 by 2, this will become A, this will become B, this will become C, and this will become D. Okay, and we very well know that as is the semi perimeter of quadrilateral ABC, that will be equal to A plus B plus C plus D by 2. So, in place of A plus B plus C plus D by 2, I am writing as so here as. Here also S, here also S, here also S. So this is the our desired result for calculating the area of any quadrilateral by Brett Schneider theorem S minus A into s minus b into s minus c into s minus d minus a b c d into cos square a plus c by 2 this is brett schneider theorem i hope that this video will be helpful for you all <laughs> do like and Share the video and if you are new on my channel, don't forget to subscribe.